All right, he'll be right. Oh, hey, hey, there we go. Yeah, what's up? What's, hey, how's it going? <laughs> it's going good. What's going on? I don't know all the details on the on the Hubris thing. I'd seen this a couple weeks ago. I guess he was gaming with Judas or something, and I didn't say anything about it. And then today they reminded me about somebody on Twitter. I guess it was Crack Rock Holmes. Had reminded, nice name, by the way. He reminded me about Medicare fucking with them, and I'd forgotten about that storyline. And so then I started laughing about it, and somebody sent me this clip where he was. Uh, oh, oh, Ralph. I'm, let me let me paint you a picture, okay? Let me. Uh, you might want to buckle up for this one. Cause I'm ready because oh, I've been boy. waiting to hear this for a while, actually. Oh boy. Now, like, okay, like, let me preface this. Like, we end we ended the week. You know, he was my co-host on the Weekly Swift for like I don't know three, four years. I mean, like, we were we were pretty thick, you know, and never had a problem with the. I mean, I did have problems with the guy but it was never anything like public you know we kept our shit kind of behind the scenes you know like when anything major and uh he said you know everybody thought there was like this big scandal it's like why we quit the show but it wasn't really it was just like he just like that he was like hey i don't want to do the show anymore and i'm like all right and that was it you know i ain't talked to this guy in for like two years you know um haven't haven't spoken to him haven't you know i've reached out you know he never reached back i was like oh, whatever you know do your own thing i didn't i never held a grudge and everyone's like asking he's like what happened to sean what happened to sean I'm like i don't know he's doing his own thing you know like leave him alone and then you know i start hearing that he's like hanging out with with fucking judas and uh no and this is where it gets like fucking like hilarious this motherfucker has like a like he started a wow guild in on our server to try to fuck with me while i'm playing wow like this motherfucker is like so deranged and hates me now apparently that he's like trying to like fuck me up in world of warcraft now like it's bizarre (laughs) dude i never heard you say a bad thing about him uh and i mean you know there's some kind of type of demise obviously and you know you could see that and then it's like you say when you have a show with somebody uh, like me and zidane never say anything bad about each other but for instance just to use that as an example uh people still come to me all the time what's so-and-so doing or this or that or you know oh i sure like this show you guys did and i was like yeah i like that show too but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? it's like okay yeah it's good it's one of the greatest hits or whatever you know it's like a band and they're talking about this hits you had with a different, <laughs> with a different cast, with a different backing band. It's like, yeah, I like that too. That was nice, good stuff. I yeah. uh, hope he's doing well. Uh, and which is true, I do feel like that. But it's also like just something to sound like him for a minute to use like as many times as possible. It's uh, it's just one of those things that you deal with. Um, but I never heard you say anything bad about him or or anything like that. I don't, I don't really know why he's mad in the first place. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, well, I mean, I, you know, I, I didn't really want to like talk bad about the guy because the way I saw it, it was like, I mean, I had problems, but it was like nothing like, I mean, the guy, I had issues. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I remember telling Nick, I was like, hey, the sweat's done. And he's like, really? And I'm like, yeah, dude, like, I don't have to fucking babysit anymore. Like, it was a fucking relief, you know? Like, that's not like a joke. It was like, I felt like relieved I didn't have to do that show with him anymore because it was literally like, I had to fucking babysit this guy. But, you know, I never said anything bad about him publicly. Like I was willing to like, the way I saw it was like, you know, we ended things amicably, like, you know, yeah. and there's no point in like trying to sour that, you know, but the truth be told, man, like working with this guy was a fucking nightmare. The guy's like, he's a baby, literally. Like he would text me all the time. Like, Oh, Hey, I, I, I'm about to be kicked out of my apartment. Like I need money. Like, can you, lo- I'd have to like loan this guy money and shit just so he could fucking do the show. Cause he's such a fucking loser. And I remember, like, it was just, like, crazy shit. He called me one time. I'm at work. He called me one time, and this guy is crying. Like, I'm not, like, not exaggerating when I say, like, like sniffling, crying, like, losing his fucking shit because he picked a fight with Medicare on Twitter, yeah. and Medicare bullied him or something. Yeah. I don't even remember what okay, happened, to so be honest look, with you. Okay, so from my point, this is what I remember. He got into a back and forth with Medicare, and, you know, Medicare started fucking with him, and, like, he does with me, basically, and started making him, like, this t- target with the Schizo Squad and everything. Uh, and then, yeah. uh, which is just what Medicare does, right? Like, I mean, I don't know what to say. So that's what he does. And anyway, he got into a back and forth with him. And then he, I guess I was going to try to set up a debate with these two. And so I was like, okay, let's set it up. And Medicare wouldn't do it because he said he was trying to report him or something, which I mean, I don't remember if he was or not, but he had got into a huge fight and then he had some kind of meltdown afterwards, which is what was referenced today. And I guess that's what you're talking about. Um, But I only saw the, the outside of it. I didn't know it was as bad uh, as, as been told here. 
Yeah, I mean, he called me crying. He's like, hey, I can't do the show tonight. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what, what's wrong? Is, you, like, is your family okay or something? Yeah. And he's like, no, I'm just, I'm going to fucking kill myself. And I got to go to the mental hospital. And I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, for like, what happened? He's like, it's just fucking all these Twitter faggots are fucking picking on me and shit. And I'm just like, I can't take it anymore. And I'm like, nigga, log off then. Dude. Like what, the, like, what the fuck do you mean? Well, what the fuck, man? Like, dude, these people... Many such cases, I wish I could say I was surprised, uh, but there's many such cases where if they face even a third of the scrutiny, somebody like me or you or Nick, or now they're fucking with Bibble, people like, you know what I mean? Um, just a third of that, even 10%, they will fold like a cheap suit. Um, and I remember he like deleted his Twitter, I think, around this time. I don't know. It was kind of a. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then crazy. like a few weeks later, of course, he's like, I'm off Twitter now. It's so much better for my mental health. <laughs> it's like, well, yeah, because you're a giant hand baby. I mean, yeah, no shit. Like, Remind me that uh, I personally decimated, decimated Jim. All right. Wow. He had 70,000 followers on Twitter. And I ran him off. I made him delete his Twitter. I personally made him delete his Twitter out of fear. It wasn't Keffels. It he was he deleted. Ran, yeah, he deleted. It wasn't, yeah. It, it wasn't nude. He deleted it. You can go and see this. This is 100% true fact. He everything. deleted it out of fear. He ran over to post. And now he has literally a tenth of the followers. He had 70,000 followers on Twitter. He has 7,000 followers on post. I decimated Jim. Oh, he's not hitting 10K on Friday, by the way. He's not. He's not. He probably won't even hit 8K. That's my prediction, below 8K. And definitely not above 10K. There's no way. There's no chance. There's no chance. If he did, there's bots out. There's no way. Those numbers are fake. They for sure have the bots out. It's, it's, you know, I didn't want to believe in bots until yesterday, and I talked to Andrew Wilson, and uh, now I'm a big bot believer. I think that, uh, I think that Medic is botting. He's washing, he's botting. If he's over 10K, he's botting. Let's just be honest. Do you think, uh, Prince, well, I mean, who watches him? Prince who watches Ubers? him? Prince Hubert. Who interacts with him? Sean. Look at his post. Look at his post. He gets, he gets 100 likes if he's lucky. A hundred. And only because those are the hundred that I personally left him with, that I allowed him to have. Prince Hubris is on post. I better get off my bed for his mental health. You know? <laughs> I, mean, I yeah. thought he was all above it all. Like, you know, internet's bad. Just start a fucking power washing business. Like, <laughs> what, what the idea? fuck was really? that? Nigga, I don't want to oh, walk, be a power washer. What the fuck? Not that there's anything wrong with that, of course, but like... Bro, I mean, dude, the, the funny thing about this is, too, man, this guy's so full of shit. This nigga went and got his, like, HVAC degree, and then was like, well, I don't like it. I think I'm just not going to have a job. Uh, <laughs> and then, yeah, just fucking, like, lives with his fucking friend Audi or whatever for a fucking year rent-free, basically. And, uh, yeah, which well, he was, said like, that funny, was good. too, that they're best friends, because, like, literally all that did was, that dude did was, like, talk shit. It was like, he never cleans the fucking house. His wife's gross, and they just live in filth. It's like... I mean, I don't know. I hate, like, bringing up all this shit. Like, I really wanted to end things amicably, but it's like, you know, you come you come back after two years just to, like, try to start shit with me for some reason, like, because you're a fucking deranged, mentally ill freak with fucking shrunken balls because you did trend and you fucked your fucking testicles up, so now you're going to be on uh, hormone injections the rest of your life just to be a normal man. Like, yeah, fuck off, you fucking hormonal faggot. It's just a shame That's because... Real, by the way. That's real. He, his balls are permanently shrunken, just to let you know. <sighs> I mean, I, I, I guess I'm not, we're noticing a pattern with the A-logs that their hormones quite aren't in balance. Shrunken balls, broken dicks. Like, what? what is this? Why are his balls shrunken? Because he did, he did fucking uh, steroids. Oh, okay. It was this guy stud that got him on fucking Trenbolone and all this other, like, crazy back alley shit, and he fucking shrunk his balls because he was doing steroids. Oh. That's, that's, why, what, that's what he told me. Wow. Why doesn't he talk about that? He could, you know, be a spokesman on the dangers of that. <laughs> yeah, maybe he should start a ball washing business. Yeah, How about that? Yeah. Maybe <laughs> fucking, fucking fag. Maybe he should preach on the dangers of steroid abuse. He could probably get a gig doing that. Yeah, maybe. I know the Air Force thing didn't work out, but... You know. <laughs> well, and that's the funny thing, dude. It's like everybody has back during that shit, man. Like, when he was going through that... Dude, like, I remember that. And... Well, that's the thing. And like, and and the only reason I make a joke about it uh, is because, I mean, fuck him, obviously. But at the time, uh, I remember when all that happened and we covered it and was like, man, that's fucked up that they're going after him, the Huffington Post and this and that. And now you see the Wignats and 
they're like, oh, they left Sean out to dry. First off, what are you supposed to do? Like, we didn't do anything to him. Nobody else did anything to him. Huffington Post independently reported on his ass. And I remember, because I remember coming on the show and being like, oh, that's fucked up. You know, Prince Hubert's man, they should have left him alone. That's fucked up. And I remember but Nick like, said like, something like, leave, leave, Hanging out to dry. Like, he got in trouble because he was in Identity Europa. Like, right. You know what I mean? Like, Well, what are you supposed to do about it, too? It's like, well, I mean... He went off to go do his own thing. Huffington Post wrote a story about him. I mean, there really is no... <laughs> right? He was already separated from everybody, and I remember people going, uh, oh, wow, that's fucked up. Mm, you know, what else are you supposed to say, really? Like, I Yeah, know. I mean... <laughs> like, all, all I remember is people saying, oh, man, that sucks. Prince Hubert. Like, how am I supposed to help a guy that doesn't want to fucking talk to me? Right? You know that's what, I mean? what I'm like... saying. He'd already disassociated from everybody. And again, I don't know all the ins and outs of that, but I mean, it was quite obvious he had done so. And so he's not even really a part of things anymore. Okay, he gets roasted by the Huffington Post because that's what they do, and that's fucked up. And I remember everybody saying it's fucked up, but he's not even around to really lift up beyond that, right? Like, what are you going to do? It's not. It's a guy you don't even talk to who did that by yeah. choice. Okay, beyond saying, and I, I, I can pretty much guarantee you said that because I remember seeing something about it. It's like, oh, that's fucked up. You know, I wish him well. I hate the Huffington Post did that. Well, okay, what else can you do beyond that, right? Like, Yeah, know. yeah. And like I said, I'm not here trying to, like, fucking just treasure shit up. I got to fucking know her, man. Like, the dude's, like, yeah. trying to fuck with me now. For, which, like, 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 by the way, like, out of the, like, you've confided, like, everything to me. And you and then and then you turn around and try to fuck with me? Like, how retarded are you, you fucking big-headed faggot? Like, are you kidding me? Like, you've told me all your fucking shit. I never, I, by the way, for the record, I never told this motherfucker anything. Like, he came to my town to, like, to visit me. I didn't even take him to my house, dude, because I was like, I don't trust this motherfucker. He's a hormonal retard. <laughs> Train him giving the Thoreau treatment. Like, make me over here. <laughs> I did. That's what I did. I was like, yeah, you can meet me at this uh, pizza place, and we can have a pizza, and then you can leave. Uh, <laughs> and that's like, that was about it, man. Dude, again, totally vindicated on that, because he's a fucking crazy lunatic, but... Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I've, I've never said a bad. I've, I've never said a bad thing about this guy for like two years, dude. And it's like, you know, he comes out of the fucking woodwork and's like trying to stir shit now. All of a sudden, it's like, get the fuck out of here, you yeah. fucking tiny bald fucking low fucking IQ faggot. Like, what, are, what are you thinking, man? Well, plus it's like you said. I mean, he's coming around to stir shit. Like, why even? Nobody said anything about him. Nobody was going at him. And then it's like, oh, let me chop it up with Judas and uh, throw some barbs. And the last thing I ever heard anybody say was nice things, probably what you didn't deserve, quite honestly, when you hear the real story. But still, people were being polite. I didn't hear beards and shitting on you at all, uh, even though he should have been, it sounds like, right? Like, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was like... I'm not kidding, man. It's like fucking babysitting this guy, dude. It's like every week. It's like one week. Oh, I can't do the show because my army girlfriend beat me up. And keep in mind, this is all the all the while, like he's saying, fuck the troops on stream. And he's fucking, he literally is fucking one behind the scenes while she's beating the fuck out of him. And he has to call the cops on her. Like, yeah, but he got beat up by a fucking girl, by the way. All that fucking gym oh. shit. He still got his ass beat by a fucking woman, dude. That's tough. That's tough. Then he goes and like dates a fucking Jewish e-girl. Like dad's literally a fucking rabbi. Damn. Oh, yeah. It's like, this guy's a fucking piece of work. Was she hot? No. She tried to fuck me before she fucked him. And I said no. I was like, no. I ain't doing that shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh. So. She was in my DMs, like, fucking hitting up to me or whatever. And I was like, I'm not, you know, she's like, oh, I didn't realize you were married or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, I am. Like, back the fuck off, you crazy bitch. <laughs> and then, like, a week later, she's with Sean. I'm like, well... Damn, I guess you can't have the best. You have to settle for the rest. Uh, here, take the take the second string host. But you know what? He would yeah. always. I would notice like frequently because you guys had a pretty popular show, uh, and could have even been more popular. But frequently, this motherfucker would be derailing because he'd be missing a show, or for some reason he's out for like a month or two or whatever, uh, and you couldn't do the show. Yeah, am I wrong in remembering it yeah. that way, or am I? Right. No, that's that it happened pretty frequently, man. <laughs> okay. I mean, it was I just like, want to make sure I'm not inventing a false memory here, but that's what I remember. Yeah, because he'd be like, I can't do the show tonight. Fucking my fucking ex girlfriend beat the shit out of me or some <laughs> shit. Or, you know, it was like, you know, and I didn't, I, I did nothing. And keep in mind, the guy was fucking nothing before me, too. Like, nobody knew who the fuck he was, man. Nobody knew who he was before the weekly sweat. He wasn't even my original co host. He wasn't even my first pick, dude. You know? Well, I mean, I watched the who weekly sweat because of Beardson. And you were making videos, like, roasting people around that same time. I think right before the Weekly Sweat, maybe. Um, or right around that same time. And you were making, like, these... I remember you made one, I think, on Richard Spencer. 
and somebody else. I don't know. I was watching that. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, obviously I was watching the week of the set because, yeah, I mean, Prince Hubris. Like, come on now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's my, it was my show, dude. <laughs> Come on, and it was one of those things too. Like I did, I did it's all the fucking positive. work. I mean, I handled the gum road. I arranged the fucking guest. Hell, I came up with half the fucking jokes and he just steal them from me. Uh, but I still paid this motherfucker 50, 50. Uh, I wonder if he's mad. Cause I'm not paying him anymore for the gum road. I wonder if that's what it is. Is that what it is? Well, like, he's not doing anything. Why the fuck would you pay somebody? This? Oh, my God. Yeah. Right. Like, well, I'm, I'm t- like, you know what I mean? It's not even that money, Oh, you know what? Money. I saw a gator say on post the other day. I can't believe this small fucker. I know he said this just because he know he knew I would see it. He said, he said that he owned thirty percent of the old kill streams that he was on because he was on the shows. I was like, that's not how it works, nigga. What are you talking about? Those buy shows. Bro, it's not the Beatles or like the fucking. Even they didn't. It didn't work like that. What you're out here on my stage on my show. Saying that you own thirty percent of it, like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, that's retarded. No, you don't. Yeah, these these niggas act like they're old royalties or some shit, dude. It's like, who the fuck you think? It's a live stream, man. It ain't a fucking yeah. TV show. Like, you're not in the you Screen Actors is. Guild, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? This is not. <laughs> what do you mean? This is not how it works. <sighs> yeah. It's insane, dude. It's like, yeah, you quit or you're not a part of it. You stop getting paid. It's just, it's pretty, pretty simple concept, I think. You know. 30%. Nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> 30%. I can't even. Now, if I was selling a bunch of merch with his face on it or something like that, I mean, maybe you could see like some type of argument, but I'm not. It's not like the WWE. It's like, what the fuck? You're gone. We're doing something else. I mean, we do have a sticker. Now I see your face in chat. Oh, imagine that guy saying he owns 30% of your live stream. He walks up behind you and says he owns. <laughs> it's like, he what? owns 30% of fucking Krispy Kreme stock, maybe. <laughs> What the fuck? He owns 100% of a dozen donuts. I mean, <laughs> And then he turned on, he literally turned on you guys for no reason, too, to just get more. Well, I won't say no reason, because he knew that that would get him more. He's It's half-hearted with him. He doesn't even really have anything against uh, America First and all you guys. It's just he knew that would get him more traction with the psycho Wignats. So you start seeing him drift more and more into just, like, fantasy-level attacks on Nick and you and America First. And you're like, why is Gator mad at Beardson. <laughs> yeah, saying, like, I was cool with that guy. Know. You know, like, because you know me, Ralph. It's like, you know, you and you and somebody else fight. Yeah. It don't mean, like, I got to be a fucking dickhead to somebody. And it's well, the same I fight with half the internet. Yeah, and- like, what the fuck? Why would I expect? Like I said, I have plenty of fights. Like, I don't expect everybody to take up every issue uh, that I have because that would be retarded. I don't take up every issue they have either. So, I mean, that's not yeah. how I operate. I mean, if I did, I wouldn't have time to do what I want to do, right? Um yeah, and it's just not to your benefit to always take up everybody's fight. Um, well, so, yeah, go ahead. The reason, the reason Gator, I said this before, the reason Gator is going against Beardson and Nick and you. all those guys. He did the YouTube, you know, you know, nothing to get. Yeah, yeah, and me and me as well is because he's trying to find another another master. He's a Renfield in search of a Dracula. He is a <laughs> perpetual servant. He is a perpetual servant, and he's he's hoping that Kino Casino will adopt him as some sort of mascot. Maybe he thinks he'll be the third Mike over there on Kino Casino. They no, both dislike no, Andy him. Hates so, him. I was gonna say, you know well, that too. I was gonna See, say, Bibble knows that. Beerson knows that. Andy hates Gator. Literally, yeah, he, he does, and you've heard the off the you've heard the um off air commentary just like I have. Worski hates Gator, and guess what? So does PPP. Bad. Well, I mean, at a certain point too, Ralph. I mean, there's got to be a weight limit on these shows. I mean, we can't keep. You know, that's true. That's true. It's you like know, a fucking elevator. You know, that thing's just gonna crash. You add another that's fat true. person it's to it. It's not gonna pass code here at a certain point. No, you're right. You're right about that. But they both dislike him. And I know for a fact Worski does because he used to fucking. Bad mouth Gator all the fucking time. And guess what? Gator was bad mouthing him until he's trying to suck up to him. Dude, these people are so two faced. It's unbelievable, honestly. Um, but he turned on you, Bibble, for no reason. The same thing, like just trying to get traction. And you see it all the time, but it's still. This is a guy that I talked to for years, knew, you know, thought I knew pretty well. And you see him just doing the same old, like, dishonest. Uh, let me just. Make up some shit about Bibble. He knows that that didn't happen. Uh, he knows this shit. He's uh, yeah. saying it's not true. Like, I know he knows it's not true. That's what makes it more disgusting. 
God. Well, I mean, he's coming out speaking so authoritatively. You're yeah. the only one that had access. How the fuck do you know who had access to the back end? I've, I've already fucking mentioned several people did. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and fucking play that, you fucking moron. No, he, he's, uh, well, you know, let's be honest. I'm sure you had, had him do some, some dirt, some, some gay ops for you at some point in time. You know, sure. and so he thinks that that everybody does that. Like I was never a part of, of any of that shit. You know what I mean? I always said, keep that shit away from me. I come on the show. I'd be funny. I go do my own shit, but he thinks that now that he's gone, somebody has to replace him. And I guess he thinks that's me. No, I don't do fucking gay ops for anybody except myself, motherfucker. Okay. Uh, that's the only person I do gay. Op. I understand that you are a natural born follower. You, you have won uh, the followership award, uh, 10 out of 10 years running, but that's, not me that's not what i do okay thank you for watching this clip this is the cac of remember to like and subscribe